What is the definition of overrated? When something gets more appreciation than it actually is worthy of. Listen to what I just said and tell me this doesn't apply to the New England Patriots defense. I mean, this team in general has been a talk of the town lately. Part of the reason being that they are one or two of the undefeated teams left this season. And the other part being, well, pretty much the major part being because of their defense. Those vaunted vicious aggressive so magnificent defense yeah right <laughs> listen man everyone loves to live in the moment and sometimes there's nothing wrong with it hell i even do it myself when i see something incredible with my own two eyes but am i the only one that watches this team am i the only one that understands the concept of football am i the only one that can read between the lines and recognize issue when I see it. I'm not saying this unit isn't playing great, because it's definitely been playing great. That's a fact. But every fact has a reasoning behind it, and it needs to be put into context. Key word there. Context. It's one of my favorite words to use. And that is my assignment for the day. What's up, y'all? OG the Beast here. Hey, I ain't showed my face in a while, so I figured I'd give y'all a treat. <laughs> but in all seriousness, man, this Patriots defense is overrated, y'all. Yeah, I said it. So if you think I'm speaking that nonsense, holler at me down in them comments, man. Y'all know what to do. But if you're new to the channel and you want to stay in tune with the best sports content on YouTube, I'm telling y'all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, drop a like for your boy. Let's try to shoot for 50 of them this time. Hey, I mess around and get 50 dislikes on this video, but I can't complain. <laughs> I know y'all still love me. <laughs> but let's get into it, y'all. Drop my intro. It's still a rap, we got the hottest staff. In 03, I made a dynasty like Robert Kraft. Bill Belichick is one of the greatest defensive minds that have ever walked the planet. His ability to simplify a complicated scheme and have it play out the same way he drew it out is magnificent. There's no doubt about that. The Patriots are currently a no, right? Undefeated. They haven't lost the game, y'all. I mean, this team is bottom half in the league statistically on offense, so you can say the majority of the credit should be given to the defense in terms of reasons why they're so successful, right? Again, no doubt about that. But if you want to sit here and tell me that this team hasn't had any outside help to give this production a significant boost, you're oblivious, my friend. Patriots are 8 0 again, to reiterate, right? They've played the Steelers, who are 3 and 4, Dolphins, 0 and 7. Jets, 1-6. Bills, 5-2. It's pretty good. Redskins, 1-7. Giants, 2-6. Jets again. And the Browns, 2-5. <laughs> that is the worst schedule through the first half of a season since the NFL merger. These teams have a combined record of 15 and 43. And one-third of the wins came from one team, the Buffalo Bills. Speaking of that one team, this just so happened to be the only game that gave them some go. The Bills we talking about. The Buffalo Bills. They kind of built like the Patriots in a way. It was a 10-16 game at the finish. That was pretty ugly from the start if you ask me. Now Buffalo's a team that's incredible on defense, but below average on offense. And that's the problem I got with this Patriots defense. They ain't face nobody good. Listen man, this unit has been good. Let me reiterate that, because I don't want y'all to think I'm getting that mistaken. From the naked eye, this is a good defensive unit. But I hear people putting this defense in the same breath as some of the all-time great defensive units, and they're nowhere near that plateau. I mean, let's take a listen to what Colin Cowherd said about this defense, y'all. Sam Darnold, your franchise. You're trying to build confidence. You allow a network to not only, and I'll get to it in a few minutes, but not only to mic him but then in real time show this during a game what are you doing against the best secondary of my life against the best secondary of my life against the best secondary of my life the best secondary in his lifetime? Now this man is 55 years old, so he's had a chance to see them all. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Kyle, you've seen everything that needs to be seen during the existence of the NFL. 
And you mean to tell me that you believe a defense that has faced opponents that have a combined record of 15 and 43 has the greatest secondary you've ever seen? Hey, yo, I guess he must have been in a coma during the 2013 season, yo, because he must not have gotten the luxury of seeing that Legion of Boom secondary, the secondary that led the league in yards allowed, points allowed, and takeaways. The last defense to do that was the 85 Bears. Who did the Legion of Boom shut down in the Super Bowl? They shut down arguably the greatest offense of all time, the highest scoring offense the league has ever seen at the time, and a QB that threw for over 5,500 yards and 55 TDs on the year, and they held them boys to eight points in the biggest game of the season. Whew. Or how about that Jets secondary in 2009 led by Darrell Revis? A secondary that only allowed six touchdowns on the entire year. It was teams that gave up six touchdowns in one game. Y'all remember that Bucks secondary that had all those interceptions against the number one ranked offense in the Super Bowl in the early 2000s? Come on, man. See, the difference is these guys were battle tested. We saw all of them face the best of the best at the time. That's something the Patriots unit has failed to do yet. So before you call them the greatest secondary you've ever seen you need to remember not to live in the moment it's okay to admire what they're doing at the time but don't forget what happened in the past this Patriots defense hasn't seen anybody worth talking about yet each of their opponents so far all bottom half in the league offenses the Steelers are 28th in the league on offense the Dolphins are 31st the Jets are 32nd the Bills are 19th this is the best competition they had all year. The Redskins are 30th. The Giants is 24th and the Browns are 20th. But this week, this week they face their toughest challenge on the season, the Baltimore Ravens. Let's see how this defense looks against the best running team in football. Lamar Jackson is somebody you got a game plan for, y'all. And I think this game, the Patriots get a reality check. This team can be ran on. Check the numbers. In fact, the next four games after the Ravens should be interesting. Should be a challenge for them. They got the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Texans, and the Chiefs. That should show me everything I need to see about the Patriots. If this defense still look the same against these boys, then hey, feel free to hit me up because I got nothing to say. But if all of a sudden you see them struggle against these teams when they see some real competition, I want y'all to think about me. Think about what OG is telling you and remember. I told you so. So from now on, I want you to consider the Patriots defense exposed by OG the Beast. And if you think I'm speaking that nonsense, holler at me down in them comments, man. Y'all know what to do. Well, anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you love sports the way that I do. Hey, man, somebody had to talk about it. Somebody had to put y'all on notice. Yeah, they've been playing well, but they not who y'all think they are. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. I'm gonna holler at y'all later, man. It's been a doozy. OG out. Hey, if you still here, you a A1 day one. I mess with you heavy. On the right hand side, you see two videos. You can click on them. They pretty new. And on the left, you see that OG to B circle? You can click on that to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it, y'all.